Like I'm gonna, you know, panic pick this this counter that I just feels, you know, I'm a little scared to, you know, I got bopped with Lucas, so therefore I just given up on him. I'm like, no. I, I hope I hope he lets it ride. Samus. I, no, I, no, he does have a <laughs> Samus. He does have a Samus. If his yeah. if he really feels like Lucas isn't gonna get there, but never mind that. We're going Fox Dittos. All right, Hockey saying he doesn't have a Samus though. He uh, got himself on the front page of Reddit with his Samus last time he was here. But uh, all right, so we're gonna, we're gonna Fox Ditto on uh, Final Destination. And this is a matchup that we didn't oh, see at all uh, in the uh, last set that these two played. We saw the Lucas, we saw the Pikachu, but no Fox. Maybe it was just Data. You know, maybe that, that's what that Pikachu was all about. I mean, it is a yellow colored Fox. I'm trying to channel I, the Pikachu. I was thinking it. <laughs> Oh, Jason, too smart for that uh, side B, a really reckless side B directly back onto the stage. Good shield. Really good shielding. I, I would have, I thought he was going to go for some kind of an air or something, but he, he knows, he knows Fox. He knows his character better. You know, the, the data might help you understand why you're getting hit, but it doesn't do all that much when you're actually getting hit. Yeah, you know? that's true. It, it still just hurts so much. We, we've seen Jason's quality really sh shine here already on very similar situations between both. As he has punished hockey side Bs, and hockey has not been able to punish his because Jason's a little too crafty. Okay, but as we say that, hockey starting to climb back into the game. It feels like a percent where you might start looking for up smashes. Yeah, speak of it, there we go. But I, I believe hockey a little too high a percentage to go dare to up smash. Possibly. Maybe an up, up tilt back air. Whoa, that was unsafe. But uh, he gets away, lands directly in front of Jason, but Jason doesn't grab or do anything. So silly. Aki uh, try to get back to center stage, maybe even try to punish Jason, but he's just respecting the bear. The one time he doesn't, though, in that entire sequence is when Jason walks away with the stock. Uh, it's Fox's hitbox. Hitbox is so high. And now Jason's array of approach options has just opened up significantly. Yeah, and here and here comes the mix-up game too. Fox has hit frame data is so good that he can use all of his, you know, frame two, frame three, frame four uh, aerials and normals to just completely mix you up and confuse your movement. And hockey's still hunting hunt for the kill. Goes for Ledgetron. Ooh, and that's good. a great option. That was really nice, though of course aided a little bit by the I assume a kind of a panic up B from Jason up being well above the level of the stage. Yeah, that was uh I mean, was he trying to be Larry for a second? Oh, <laughs> we're not living like Larry today. Not today. So shout-outs to Larry Lur. Now, Larry Lur actually giving Jason shout-outs whenever he was here for Caddy. Yeah, I, Larry Lur, great guy. I had, a, I had a chance to get some food with him after uh, the tournament was over. And uh, what, what a guy for the, for the oh, scene. Yeah. He's super cheap. Back here for Jason. Just up tilt the ledge. Living like Larry. Oh. Living like Larry! <laughs> I like it. You know, I, 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 I just respect the clean play. And uh, to be honest, like, I, you know, I, 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 I want to, I don't know, maybe he just feels like Lucas Fox is, is like a waste of time. Like, I, I like, I would rather just play Fox in dittos and maybe get wrecked, but get level up my Fox rather than, okay, okay, good. I, you know, I'm glad for it. I'm glad for it. I'm not, I'm not I don't know. I'm not crazy about FD though. We'll see. But, you know, you know, uh, I think he just wants to limit platforms. Fox in the, in this game is really scary with platforms uh, because he can just you know, fall off of the platforms really quickly with aerials. He can use the platforms to extend his combos. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and these uh, lasers are. I, I like I like the lasers because in both in the sense of their free damage, they also uh, there's no reason for Lucas to magnet them. You know, to try to absorb them and heal because they don't heal enough. And beyond that, the, it, it almost feels like Jason's just doing them to tell Hockey, you got to approach him. Yeah. You can't just throw out these quick, the, the set neutral that you were touching on before. That alone won't be able to cut it. The no time. you come over here button, once exactly. again. Go use the magnet. Definitely one of the most underrated things is, uh, I think, magnet to stall, that kind of thing. All right, but, you know, I, I was, you know, nay saying the heels, but it, it just put him back into the lead. Oh, the most aggressive option does not pay off, and uh, Hockey takes a little bit of damage there on, on that edge guard. Oh, wow. Great what sequencing there. 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 Not even bear? Yeah. Maybe a missed input, perhaps? 
He got the damage. He got, he got some. <laughs> yeah, he got an aerial. Hard, hard to feel bad. Uh, the, I think that maybe, maybe part of it was was like if he like teched really quickly, then uh, because of Fox's mobility, he might have like potentially put himself in a really bad position. True. What who knows? All in the mind of Aki. The, the, the DI didn't really bring him close enough to the stage. So. And now we can they, so now he's forced to continue to hunt. I would assume that'll do it, yeah. Fox with the weight value, I believe, of uh, 79, which is, to put in perspective, uh, you know, Sheik's is 81, so. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, Puff is like 74. So, something like that, yeah. You know, yeah. Peach is 90, Mario's 95, Ryu is 100. Or Mario's like 97. I don't want to start quoting obscure <laughs> values. I'm, I'll inevitably be wrong about one of them. Oh, good. Great power shield. Yeah, that was great with punish. Yeah, and Hockey playing with a lead now for the first time in both of their sets. Oh, he's got him off the ledge where Fox hates to be. Jab sequence. Okay, gives a, I like that he gives it away. Oh, oh, that's a big punish. Jason having to recover and somehow getting around the options this time. All right, about 40% later, Jason finally manages to take center stage again. And that's what you want when you're playing with a lead. Whoa. He's just swinging wildly. He needs to take the stock out, but oh instead my. he's going to get two stuck. Yo, that the, back throw. That was, the, that was hard DI. He was DIing hard uh, towards uh, towards the blast zone. That he just got mixed up. I don't think he was expecting a back throw there. I mean, if you, if you watch that angle again on the uh, back throw, right here, like... When he grabs him right here, look at the how the arch like the, he was that was he, di next up again. His grab setups off of aerials, those are insane, nutty. Like there's so I mean yeah he has down tilt grab, he has zero grab, uh, he has jab grab. But they're they're pretty good, and he gets so much off of grabs it really helps. All Last right. game. All right, so game three here. It's, it scores tied one one here between Dallas and Austin. Fighting it out for the chance to face Gibbous in Grand Finals. Oh. <laughs> Almost starting off to a very climactic uh, beginning. Yeah. I mean, that, that, if that spike had actually carried all the way through, that would have been pretty brutal for the, uh, for the Dallasites. Oh, man. And the retreating there is uh, now just been stuffed twice in a row. Uh, once, one time by L up tilt, the other time by shield. Just not, I guess not a good, strong enough option. Okay. <laughs> up tilt at the ledge. Living like Larry. So quick. Bits of percent here and there. We've seen a couple of different exchanges in neutral, and it feels like Jason is getting the better. But this is where Hockey turns things around. The confirms off of the grabs are what he lives for. Yeah, and, and, but now he's now he's the one playing from behind. It'd be so frustrating when Fox can pressure you, but by virtue of having a lead, doesn't have to truly go in. All right, and we see numerous PK fires and Zares. Oh. So Hockey needs a little bit of damage right now before I think he can start just looking hard for the uh, grabs. Hashtag. And Jason knows that he can just find a back air here. Whoa! Fantastic pivot grab. And the first time we've seen him do something like that uh, near the ledge. Oh, that was... He could have grabbed that. Falling there. Oh. Fox has, has very little landing leg, but that fair will trap him on the ground. Another good grab at the ledge, but Fox's grabs are so unscary. You, exactly. you, you'd rather get grabbed than hit by almost anything you can do. Uh, especially you don't want to get hit by that. <sighs> and all those little hits, the damage he got from those grabs, so indicative of Jason's first stock, where it was just little win after little win. Oh, again, we see uh, Hockey have an opponent mash out at a percentage he really doesn't want them to. Jason with the proper DI this time around. Oh, down smash getting beat out by Dare. Hockey in the corner. Good Ooh, timing. Good timing. Yeah. You saw him tie the one, two, three grab you. And the wow, that meaty hitbox of the down smash actually clipping Jason. And that wow actually worked. The PK freeze uh, carried him off far enough to where it just he just didn't have. It, it, it wasn't even necessarily like it gimped him. It just forced him. It stalled his momentum, which I, I guess I suppose is a gimp, but. That was goofy. That was very goofy. I, I've never seen something like that work where you down smash to hit somebody off stage. PK freeze them and they just don't get back. I guess the PK freeze took his jump. All right, but now here in game. Oh man, huge damage from Jason. Massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, again. Look, up to the up air, traps him towards the ledge. That, that'll smash. do it. Wow. 
And Jason just turned it up right there at the end. Definitely. The, the potential run back that we could have had six months ago. Would have been something else. But, I, you know, shout-outs to Austin really representing well with uh, two players in top eight, hockey finishing third, Sassy doing well for himself. I entered my first tournament in months, and I went two and two. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. You went even. What even? Who did you lose to? Uh, SS guy. Um, and I feel felt good about that because uh, he played Mega Man against my Rosa, and uh, he uh, – Kind of, kind of bought me game one, and I, I really adapted game two, you know? It was quite a close game two. Yeah. So I feel good about that. And uh, uh, I lost to a um, – uh, he went Sheik, I won Charizard, he won game one. He went Sheik, I won Charizard, I won game two. He said FD, I went Rosalina, he went Cloud. Uh, he destroyed my first stock. I brought it right back, last stock, last hit, lost. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I, I feel good about that. Take those it. are Those are, like – uh, I don't know Mega Man, because like, that's a big thing. When you don't enter all the time, the biggest thing I feel like you lose out on is matchup knowledge. And uh, so I, it was a matchup where I didn't have matchup knowledge, but I adapted. And it was a crummy matchup in Cloud Rosa that I took last stock last day.